In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to bench press correctly. Because even though the bench press is one of the most popular exercises for your upper body, most people don't know how to do it correctly. The bench press is one of the best exercises you can do for your chest, your shoulders, and your triceps. And not only that, but the, it's also the ultimate measure of your upper body strength. And for this reason, uh, if you look at a powerlifting competition, the bench press is the only upper body exercise or movement in a competition. How's it going everyone? It's Anand from underdogstrength.com and if you're new to my channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. The bench press has many variations. You can even do a dumbbell bench press, an incline bench press, a decline bench press. But in this video in particular, we'll be focusing on the flat bench press. And most people don't know this but even a flat bench press has so many different variations. You could do a wide grip bench press, a close grip bench press, you can bench press with chains, or you could even use a board press. Now even though we are focusing on the flat bench press, the basic rules of bench press will apply to nearly all forms of bench press. So what are these basic rules? In order to bench press properly, first of all you have to have a slight arch in your back, your shoulder blades have to be back and down and you have to use proper leg drive. And if you look at most people who bench press, you know, their bench press is probably gonna look like the picture above where they don't use any leg drive. The back is flat against the bench and the shoulder blades are protracted or forward. And th this can not only reduce the effectiveness of the bench press, but it can also cause injuries. Now let's take a look at another picture of what a proper bench press looks like. Your feet have to be planted into the floor and it helps that you know if your feet are back as as much as possible and what this will do is it will put your knees lower than your hips and this combination will help you generate a lot of leg drive out of the bottom there has to be a slight arch in your back while you bench press but your shoulders and your butt have to be on the bench and for shoulder safety your shoulder blades have to be back and down and you also want to tuck your elbows and unlike most people who bench press where they flare their elbows, tucking your elbow elbows will actually make the movement safer and more effective. And if none of this is making sense to you, then don't worry about it because I'll be going into much more detail in this video. Now a question that I get all the time is what kind of equipment should I use when I bench press? You don't really need anything fancy when you bench press but at the very least I recommend that you get a pair of solid wrist straps especially if you're uh, planning on benching heavy because it's gonna help protect your wrists and also it's gonna help you keep your wrist straight while you bench press. I also recommend using some chalk when you bench press because it's gonna help you grip the barbell better and when you apply some chalk to your back it's gonna help you grip the actual bench better. The now you can see that I'm actually bench pressing in a squat rack. Uh, you, ideally you should use an adjustable bench where you can adjust the height because everyone's arm length and bench press technique is slightly different. And the other benefit of using a, a rack like this is you can set the safeties on the side. So in case you know, you're know you training alone like me and you fail, you still have the safeties to catch you. And finally, probably the most important piece of equipment is the actual bench itself. And you know, the most commercial gyms that I've been to have really bad benches. So if, and you know, these days it's very easy and very affordable to buy your own bench, especially if you have your own gym or a garage gym or something like that. So if, if you want to check out this particular bench, I'll leave a link down in the description below along with any of the other products that I mentioned. And if you're just starting out, then you know, don't worry about any of the equipment. Now let's go over the actual bench press setup. The first thing you want to do is you want to take an even grip on the barbell. And you can use the rings on the barbell to make sure that your grip is even. And when it comes to grip, you actually want to grip the barbell as opposed to what a lot of people do is they use the grip on the right, where it's also known as a, as a false grip or a suicide grip. There's a very high risk of the barbell slipping from your hands and falling onto your body. So make sure to actually grab your thumbs around the bar and keep the barbell close to your wrist or the base of your hands as opposed to back uh, near your fingers. And this will help you maximize the, your power into the bar. The next thing I want to talk about in terms of grip is the actual grip width. This is highly individual, you know, some people prefer a slightly wider grip, some people prefer a slightly narrower grip, and all, there's also different times in your training for different grips. 
uh, try to experiment and see what works best for you. You can start with a grip that is slightly wider than shoulder width and you can go wider from there if you want to. I personally use a wider grip because I have really long arms. Okay, so now that we have the grip, the next thing you want to do is you want to set your arch and at the same time you want to retract your shoulder blades. What this will do is it will put your shoulders in the correct position and the safest position to bench press. And what I mean by shoulder retraction is that the picture on the top left is of shoulder protraction and that picture on the top right is of shoulder elevation and you want to do the exact opposite of that when you bench press. You want to force your shoulder blades back and you want to push them down. And a, a, a good coaching cue that I like to use is uh, try to put your shoulder blades into your back pockets and this usually solves this problem. What this does is that it puts your shoulders into back into its sockets and, and it keeps it there. So while you bench press, you want to maintain this position of back and down throughout the movement. Now this is a very common mistake amongst beginners. They learn how to retract the shoulder blades properly, but they cannot maintain this position. The, the video that you see on the left is the correct way to do it where you keep your shoulder blades retracted throughout the movement when you bring the barbell down and when you press. Whereas on the right is the incorrect way to do it where it's, you're not maintaining your shoulder position. Here's a side angle on how you should be doing it. You can see that there's very minimal movement in my shoulders. Even though my shoulders are actually pushing the weight, my shoulder blades or my scapula uh, on the on my upper back is not moving now this is the incorrect way of doing it where you can clearly see that there's an excessive movement in my shoulders now th this may be useful for things like boxing or where you need an extended reach but not in case of a bench press so if you're having any sort of shoulder pain from bench press you might want to look at your so shoulder position while you bench press so here's how you do it you bring your shoulder blades back and down and then you can press, but you still want to maintain that position. Here's the side angle uh, of how you can set up your shoulders to the bench press. You want to pull your shoulders back and down. You will also notice a slight arch in my back. And when you arch your back slightly, it will make it easier for you to maintain this position throughout. When I talk about the arch, you ideally your lower back will not be in contact with the bench so your upper back uh, muscles and your butt will be in contact with the bench then you want to set your feet into the floor and unrack the bar now when you unrack the bar the, the barbell should be directly over your shoulders so your shoulder joint your elbow joint and your wrist joint should ideally be in a straight line and then you want to take a deep breath before you start the bench press and what breathing does is that it expands your chest cavity and thereby it can actually help you reduce the range of motion a little bit. And also, you know, when you breathe and learn how to brace correctly, it's going to help you maintain full body tightness when you bench press. So you want to take a deep breath before each rep and you want to hold your breath while you bench press. And you can exhale either on the way up or you can exhale after the rep is done and you want to repeat the same process over and over again. So right now in this video, you're going to see I'm taking a deep breath. Then I'm going to lower the barbell onto my lower chest. Now you don't want to flare your elbows. You actually want to tuck your elbows. And one cue that people like to use is you know, bend the bar. And this will help you bring the bar right below the nipple area. And this is, this is where you should touch. But if you look at most people who bench, they touch way too high on their chest. And not only is this dangerous because it can the barbell can fall onto your neck, but it's also very dangerous for your shoulders because it puts your shoulders in a, an unsafe position. So the, be the best way to tell if you're tucking properly is to look at the bench press from the side. And when you look at it from the side, your elbow should be directly underneath the barbell. If you touch too low on your chest, then it's going to be very hard for you to bring the barbell back. And if you touch too high on your, ch on your chest, then it's going to put unnecessary strain on, on your elbows and even your shoulder joints. So for this reason, I really recommend that you film all your lifts so you can you can look at your technique and see where you're going wrong. And if you like the images that I've created over here, make sure to follow me on Instagram at underdog strength. Now that we have the bottom position, 
Now it's time to actually do the press. When you bench press, most people make the mistake of pressing straight up like you're gonna see in the following video. You, you don't wanna press straight up when you bench press. When you press straight up, it's the barbell will no longer be over your shoulders and with the bench press your goal should be that you want to bring the barbell back to over your shoulders which is the starting position as fast as possible so when you bench press you want to press back and up not just up so here's what the bench press bar path looks like you bring the bar down to your chest and then you press back and up right to where the barbell is over your shoulders you will see that even though the bar path looks like a straight line, it's not a horizontal line because it's not going from straight down to up, it's going back and up. And you want to try to bring the barbell back to you over your shoulders as fast as possible if you, if you want to make this lift as efficient as possible. Alright, so let's go over the entire bench press setup all over again. Take an even grip on the bar and then while gripping the bar, you want to use the barbell as leverage to put your shoulder blades into the correct position and at the same time you want to set your arch and then you want to unrack the bar to bring it into its starting position over your shoulders so here you're, you're gonna see that i take a deep breath before each rep and i also make sure that my shoulder blades are retracted back and down then i bring the bar to my lower chest pause for a second and then reverse back and up You'll also notice that my feet are firmly planted into the ground and this is known as leg drive because it really helps you not only balance the weights while you bench press but it also helps you generate power out of the bottom of the bench press. Here's a different angle. I'm lowering the bar to my lower chest and then pressing back up. And when I'm pressing, my goal is to bring the barbell back to its starting position which is directly over my shoulders. So I'm touching my chest and then pressing back and up, not just up. And then you can take a deep breath for each rep, like you see my chest is expanding when I take a deep breath, and then I'm just reversing that. Another deep breath, I'm lowering the bar and pressing back up. So let's go over the entire bench press uh, setup all over again. First thing you wanna do is, you wanna take an even grip on the barbell, and you can do this by looking at the rings on the barbell to make sure your grip is even. Then you want to set your arch. And by, by setting your arch, you're also putting your shoulders in the correct position. And you want to force your shoulders back and down into the bench. And I'm actually using the barbell, as you see, to, to push my shoulders into position. Then you actually want to grip the barbell, not use a false grip. So make sure your thumbs are around the bar. And then you want to set your feet into position. Now you can either have your heels on the floor or your toes on the floor depending on your preference. But either way make sure your feet are firmly planted into the floor. Then you want to unrack the bar but you still want to maintain that shoulder position. And the, the ideal starting position for you is going to be where the barbell is directly over your shoulders. Lower the bar into your chest and then press back and up not just up. So lower, lower the bar to your chest and then press back and up. You want to tuck your elbows a little bit uh, to make sure that your shoulders are in the correct position when you bench press. And the best way to tell that you, you're tucking properly is to film yourself from the side next time and your elbows should be directly underneath the bar from the side regardless of what grip you decide to use. And the, the, the main thing I want to emphasize is the position that we got into where we have a slight arch in the back our shoulder blades are retracted and our feet are firmly into the floor is the position that you should maintain throughout the bench and it should not change uh, regardless of how many reps you do. So anyway, I hope you found this inf informative. If you did, uh, please go ahead and like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions for me, feel free to send me an email at anand at underdogstrength.com and I will see you next time.